we shall go on to the end. We shall fight in France. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. And if, which I do not for a moment believe, this island or a large part of it was subjugated and starving, then our empire beyond the seas, armed and guarded by the British fleet, would carry on the struggle until in God's good time, the new world, with all its power and might, steps forth to the rescue and the liberation of the old. Thank you, thank you for coming. Look, I, I can't say it was unexpected, and I'm sorry you had to leave your old job. I've been quite impressed with your work on mathematics and computing, and so you've been assigned to work on the Enigma code. As of now, we've made significant progress on the Air Force Enigma, and thanks to the Polish, the Army is nearly there as well. Which code would you like to work on? Pardon my asking, but is no one working on the, the Naval Enigma code? Not as of now, Terry, but we don't necessarily have the information to work on that right now. It would be more productive use of your time if you worked on something else. I'd like to at least see it. If you insist. Here's all the information we have on the Naval Enigma. In the meantime, let me introduce you to your colleagues. Mr. Turney, your team. You'll be working with Welchman and John Clark. They've been working on this code for a while now, and we'll help you if you have any questions. Please make sure Mr. Turney feels comfortable. Hello. Hello, it's nice to meet you, Turney. Um, I'm going to work on this file now. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah, Turing, what is the pattern? I was looking at the naval Enigma code messages, and I found a pattern within the code. Uh, Turing, you're brilliant. You've been here less than a day, and you saw something thought impossible. What, what exactly did you find? I wrote it down in my journal, but I need a bomb machine now. I have some ideas to improve on the Polish design, and... I need a copy of their machine first. What? Turing, have you lost your mind? Y you know, the, the code-breaking machine? Turing, you know I can't do that. We don't have the necessary information and funds to make a machine that may not work. It's, it's a waste of your time and talents, Turing. Sorry, sir, but we need this. It can break messages faster than any human, and I won't work on it without sit this. Down. Sit down, Turing, please sit down. How long will it take to do this? Uh, few weeks? Fine. But it will be done in your office, and I expect results, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, it's true. Well, Shren, I can't thank you enough for your improvements on our bombs. No, it was nothing. But Turing, Knox is getting worried. You've been working on this code for eight months now. We need your help in the other departments, and Joan is exhausted of you avoiding her. I have work to do. If my math's all right, I can make improvements to our bombs so that no matter what the Germans change their code to, it will work. Joan understands that this war needs to end. She's your fiancé now. You can't just ignore her. Okay. The, the, the codes, the codes, the codes have changed, the codes. Alan, all of our work is gone. Now what do we do? Just 
too long on the maths. I need to start making my bomb. If Knox had given me more resources, it wouldn't have mattered if they changed the code. Hand me that paper. We can't read the messages, so our supply shipments won't be able to avoid the U-boat wolf packs. England will starve. We can't quit now. Don't you think you've wasted enough time on this machine, Alan? You won't get married until it's done. What are you trying to do? If there's any chance of us breaking through this code for good, it has to be this machine. It's not possible to make any real progress if the Germans can just reset the move. Don't you think you've wasted enough time on this machine, Alan? I really hope you're right. Christopher. You test it. Okay, but I, I need to get Knox first. I want to see this. Okay. It works! By troops of the Allied Expeditionary Force. This simple statement will be read by school children a hundred years from now. He told the people of Europe that America has not failed them. He went on to say that this landing is part of the concerted United Nations plan for the liberation of Europe, made in conjunction with our great Russian ally. And then he added, the hour of liberation is approaching. Turing. Alan, this is all because of you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. That's Joan, I, I need to talk to you. <laughs> Alan, you did it. I always knew you could, even though I had my doubts. Joan, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. I love you, but I, I'm a homosexual. I'm, I'm sorry to put you in this situation. I'm sure you've heard me reference Christopher. In college, he was my first love. Uh, he died 10 years ago. But he's been very important to me. I always knew you are a little homosexual, Alan. This doesn't change my feelings about you. But if you think this is what's best for us, then I will have to agree. Thank you for understanding. I don't think we should get married. Let us go back to the picnic. 